Hey everybody. Today I'm just installing this um, Kingston Solid State Drive into the Samsung model MP300U1A notebook. This is one of those slim books as I call them. They lack a um, DVD drive. They're kind of like netbooks. You know, this is not much bigger than an actual netbook. You know, it could also be quite, you know, it could be nearly classified as a netbook, I would say. Not very big. Basically, um, you may have seen this computer in another video. The hard drive in it failed completely, bricked up. Um, so, the owner has decided to move forward and have me install a solid state drive into the machine, seeing that solid state drives have came down in price considerably. This Kingston 240 gig drive was roughly $86 on Amazon. So, they've definitely come down in price, big time. And recently I got a comment on one of my videos. I think it's the video where I was working on an HP sleep book. Um, concerned about, you know, the process of, of replacing the hard drive. I want to say that some of these sleep books, you know, they, they can be a little tricky if you're not familiar with them, but some models like this are very easy to work on. Now, by the way, I've already taken the hard drive out of this thing, so when, you open, when, when I open it, you're going to see there's a hard drive missing. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is take the battery out. Look how slim that battery is. Man, these newer computers are a whole lot more energy efficient than the older ones. Like my, it's from 1525. So, I'm going to take the screws out of the bottom. Let you see what I'm doing here. Somewhat, anyway. Just take the screws out the bottom. Not too much to it. I think they're all the same size. Okay, there's two more screws in this thing. They're actually up under these two feet. One is there. Take the other foot off, and we'll see the other one. And up here's the other one. Take those two out. This door does not have to come off, by the way. No need to take it off. Now let's go ahead and take this loose. Be gentle with it. And then we are working with a very, very thin notebook here, so always use care and caution. And take the SD reader cover out. And it's starting to give way. And general rule of thumb with laptops, if you find you're having a hard time getting a piece to come loose, double check and make sure you didn't miss a screw. Basically with a lot of these newer sleep books, these little uh, thin books, um, the whole bottom basically comes off. And you notice I think it's a pretty nice design actually. Just take the whole bottom of the computer apart and you have access to pretty much everything. Now I know for sure that all the um, screws are out of this thing, so... Again, you still need to use care and caution around ports like this HDMI port. Because it is kind of a tight area. And sometimes you can use a screwdriver to gently pry the little tabs loose. Basically, think the phrase easy does it. Don't rush yourself on these. And on this side, we have a VGA connector. This thing has got VGA and HDMI out, which is not uncommon.
Again, this is not my first time being in this thing, as I had mentioned. And there we go. As you can see where I've taken the previous hard drive out, it goes right there. Simple. Very simple. See, look here. With the um, with the bottom off, you have access to your motherboard and you know things like that. Not sure about how you go about getting the keyboard. I'm not really concerned with that right now because the keyboard is just fine. But yeah, just the whole bottom comes off. You have access to the entire motherboard and everything there. It's not a bad idea. You know, to be honest with you, I think that's the way laptops should have always been designed. So the hard drive just slipped into this little rubber piece. No screws required to install it. It's just, you know, it just slipped into a little rubber casing and it just literally just sits in that little area there. So let's go ahead and take this out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and double check the um, corners or the side rider. We gotta make sure the plastic is pushed around the ports on this thing. Like for example here you can probably see a little bulge out where it's not quite in all the way. But it's gonna give a good firm press there. Push it all back in. So anyways, that's how you replace the hard driver and solid solid state drive in this case to a Samsung MP300U1A notebook. Now I'll likely follow up with a video later on of how the SSD performed in this notebook. So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching. Cube Computer Company.